Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today's video is pretty insane. I'm going to show you guys how to get a private server with Storm, and this private server is a hybrid private server, and it will let you get every single skin all the way up to Chapter 2 Season 6, and you will also be able to join all of your friends who are not even using Storm, and they will be able to see all your OG and leaked skins. And since it's a hybrid server, you guys will be able to do this without having to install any separate version of Fortnite, and it will work on your main Epic Games account. And you can also join friends who are not using the private server. So to download Storm, you want to go to the Discord, and the link is discord.gg slash stormfn, and also have an invite link in the description for you to click on. So once you're in here, make sure you're in the downloads channel, and it will have a message that looks like this. So now you just want to click on the link over here next to download. And then once you get over here, it will pop up in something like this. So what you want to do is you want to scroll down and you want to make sure you click on free access with ads right over here. And then once you've done that, it'll have three steps for you to do. So make sure you do all three of these and then let you continue. So you just want to add this add on. You can always remove these later. I would personally definitely remove these later, but it is required for you to get past the step. And then once you've done that, you can just go back up here and then you can just click on remove. So you remove that. And then once you've done that, you can go over here and click on activate notifications. So for this one, all you have to do is go over here and then click on allow over here, just temporarily then reload your page. And then when you go back over here and click on this, there's just one more thing that you have to do. So you can go back up here and you can block the ads again if you want. And then once you've done that, you just want to click on the articles, and this is the final step. You just have to sit in here for about a minute, you just click on like one of them, and then you will be fine. Now you can just go back, and then you can just wait. It says wait 5 seconds, and then once that has passed, you can just X out of this, and then you can continue to the download. So here's the download right over here. So once you get this download, I would just put it on my desktop just to keep it organized, but it's completely your choice. So I'm just gonna drag this over to the desktop and then we will move on to the next step. And if this file gives a failure because it's virus detected, it's not actually a virus, it's only detecting it as a virus because the source code for this is not leaked anywhere on the internet. So it can't detect if it's a virus or not. So it's just saying that's a virus. But don't worry guys, it's not a virus. And if it, your computer is detecting it as one, you can just go to your Windows Defender or whatever antivirus you're using and then just temporarily turn it off while you're using the private server. And you will need WinRAR to extract this file because it is a .rar. So once you've done that and you've installed WinRAR, just right click on here and then you can click on extract here so you just want to click on extract here and then it'll put it in a folder that looks like this this folder will have two different files in it make sure it has these two files otherwise it will not work and make sure they're both inside of a folder together if they're just by themselves on your desktop it's not going to actually work you have to make sure they're in the exact same folder so the next thing you want to do is you want to go open up your epic launcher so make sure you have your epic games launcher open and then just make sure that you're logged in with the account that you want to use. You can use your main account if you want to, nothing's going to happen. So just join on whatever account you actually have friends on and then you can join them and troll them. So once you check that, you can just X out of this and you will not be needing that yet. So the next thing you want to do is you want to go over to the storm launcher and just double click on this. And then it'll pop up with something like this. And it will launch up the private server for you. So it's going to be launching this through the Epic Games launcher, so it should pop up with the Epic Games launcher, and then it'll pop up with something like this. So now you're just going to wait. So if it says connecting to Storm like it does on my screen, that means you are actually in Storm, and if it does not say that, then you probably launched it incorrectly and it's through Fortnite, so if that happens, maybe you can try to re-download it. So once you get on the screen, just click on the play button on Battle Royale. And then you will be launched into the lobby. So you can see I am in the lobby. It will have a custom background. It'll have like 1 million V-Bucks or 1 billion V-Bucks. And then it'll just have three things with play, locker, and item shop. So if you click on locker, you'll see that you have all the skins in the entire game, like I am showing right here. So you'll have all these skins all the way up to chapter two, season six. And you can see that has all of the most up-to-date skins in the game. So if you want to troll your friends, show off some new skins and show off some unreleased skins as well, this is perfect for you. And then you've also got all the backblings. 
So you can scroll down and check out all of the backlinks. And this one is also up to chapter two, season six. So this will have every single backlink. It will also have every single pickaxe, all the way up to the most recent season. Again, chapter two, season six. Same thing with the gliders and also the contros. And you'll only be able to see, of course, these three, but I just showed the gliders in this because I could. And you cannot go into games just yet with this. So don't try to go into any games. As you guys can see, there's not really anything you could go into anyway. So just don't try to go into any games and you'll probably be fine. And then you can also get all of the emotes all the way up to the most recent season as well. All the way up to the most recent patch, 16.4, every single new skin. And this does get updated each time there's a new item in the item shop. So you can also join all your friends. You can see I have 139 friends online right now and like a ton of other friends as well. So you can join any of these friends. So I'll show you guys joining all these friends in just a second. So if you wanna join friends, we can join this person. And you guys can see that this person, they're in a match right now, but you guys can see that I joined them even though they're not even using Storm as they're obviously in a match. So this is just proving that you can join anybody in the entire game without, um, who doesn't even use Storm at all. So this is pretty cool. So I'm just gonna leave this person's party. And then in the locker for the skins, you will have all the skins and there will also be some cool skins that will never be released. So all of these with placeholder icons, these ones will never be released because they're all like AIs or some sort of henchmen or just some sort of like NPC in the game that will never really be released anytime soon at least. We don't know about what's going to happen in the future, but as of right now, they're completely unreleased. They haven't been released ever. So. These are not even in the leaked item shop files, they're just the AI or the NPCs. So I'm just gonna equip some of these unreleased skins. So we can equip the Stark Defense Unit or we can equip one of these skins. So we can equip one of the Henchmen skins and then you can join anybody with these unreleased skins. Um, so yeah, this is pretty cool. So we're gonna join someone who's in the lobby right now. So you can see that we are in someone else's lobby who is not even, you know, like part of the private server so they're just completely normal person who's on normal fortnite and you can change any skin that you want and troll your friends so you can see that there's a bunch of people in the lobby and you can also do all of the emotes as well including built-in emotes which you're also not able to do in normal fortnite so there's quite a few things that you're not able to do in normal fortnite that you can actually do in this so let's see if we can get this one this skin is this emote's not even able to be done on this skin like normally, but since we're in a private server, we can do all these built-in emotes. And then we can also do the Go Cat Go emote, which is, I know I've done this in like every single video, but it's pretty funny when you do it. So I don't know why we just switched to the Beast Boy skin. And then you guys can see that we are doing this really weird emote when you use it on other people. All right guys, so you guys can see that we are in a group of five people and everybody's seeing the skin and we're able to troll them. So if you guys want to troll people, make sure you get this private server and you join people. And it's really useful for leaks, trolling, TikToks, whatever you want to do. This is like the perfect server for it and it only requires like one click, so. All right, so for the final part of the video, I'm gonna show you guys to uninstall this and launch up in normal Fortnite. So there's not much that you actually have to do. All you have to do is X out of Fortnite just like I am and it will automatically start up a verification on Fortnite when you do that so if you go to your epic games it'll say verification required and it will automatically verify your game so you can see in the library mine is automatically verifying and then once this has gone to back up to a hundred you guys will be able to play Fortnite normally again all right guys hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and make sure you guys leave a like if you're not already and subscribe to the channel if you guys want to see more private server videos just like this whenever a new version comes out of fortnite i'll uh, make sure to make a new private server video to keep you guys updated and I'll see you guys in the next one